I go ahead, uh, Mason, and that, just how much emphasis and maybe some, some pride over the last couple of days of getting back on the right side of the rebounding did you guys kind of put put into this game? Yeah, um, it's kind of been our, our thing all year. Um, you know, last game I felt like that was kind of an outlier, not the um, not the way our team usually is. Um, you know, uh, we, we felt like we take a lot of pride on the on controlling the glass, you know, getting those offensive rebounds. Um, a lot of times Coach Payne says like when you take a good shot, like good things are gonna happen, like we gotta get offensive rebounds, stuff like that. So that's something we really focused on trying to get back to today and it, it turned out pretty well. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. I think we got out rebounded pretty bad in Maryland. So uh, the past couple of days, we just worked on it. Um, more mental reps than like physical. Uh, we're late in season right now, and so it's more about getting our minds right, prepared, and um, going into the game with the right mindset. Black, uh, Coach Payne, Coach Payne, Coach Payne, Coach Payne. It was a pretty close first half, and you know, you're up by nine going into the second half. But then you really put them away pretty quickly. Coaches will say those first few minutes of the second half of a game like this are really key. Just your thoughts on you know, playing as well as the team did there in the second quarter. Yeah, I think those first five minutes, um, something that we've always thought of very important. In, yeah, in both halves, uh, kind of coming up and setting the tone. Um, you know, games can like, leads can evaporate in the first five minutes, um, or they can grow. So we we always really focus on trying to take those first five minutes and really control them. That's how we get that. Mason, can you kind of talk about the mental approach of starting a game versus coming in at the first media timeout? And, you know, obviously you, you've been a spark plug for this team off the bench since you came back from your injury, but today back in the starting lineup. Uh, yeah, I would say for me it's the same. I mean, I go into every game with the same mentality of doing my job, whatever pain needs me to do. Um, the only difference of starting and not starting is when you're not starting, you can kind of see how the game is going. Um, you don't get to establish the flow, establish the tone yourself. Um, either way, I'm starting or not starting, I just like to play. So whenever Pancake puts me in, um, I'm always going to do my job and be ready to play. Ethan, I mean, you were chasing around two of their guys most of the day, but if you get a couple three-pointers to go down, what can that maybe do for you here as it hits the stretch run? Yeah, uh, well, it's always nice to make shots. So <laughs> <clears throat> no, but it's good. I think it gives us another dimension here. We're, we're already pretty dynamic with, with these two guys. Um, obviously, the way Mason shot the ball, you know, the past, I don't know, month, month, month and a half. Obviously, Fletch and Braden are very dynamic, and, you know, Zach and Zach. So, um, for me, to, like, literally just do anything on offense helps us as the last guy. Um, so, it feels good to make shots. Um, just got to continue to be aggressive, um, cut down on the turnovers, and, just make simple plays um, a couple times in the second half a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, I think it's great for us. Um, hopefully I can keep going here. It's good. Mason, uh, you guys got down 8-2, and you getting the free throw line kind of sparks things. Um, you went to the line six times today. Was that something in your mind today to be more aggressive attacking the basket? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say like attacking the basket was my only mindset, uh, just more of an aggressive mindset. Um, if I was open on the three, I would have taken those shots, but I felt like I had to land to the rim a couple of times, and so I was just um, capitalizing on the opportunities I saw. Um, so recently, you know, there's been a little bit of controversy with refing and fouls being called. So I was just curious, mm -hmm. from your experience out there, do you feel like there's ever a difference in refereeing from when the game is like close versus, let's say, when you're up by 30 points? Is there a difference? We're not really going to speak on like refereeing. Yeah, it's not something we really do. We just got to do our jobs. They ref, we play. Hey guys, uh, question for you. All three of you guys have been on the team for a while. What's David Jenkins meant to this team? He came on to a veteran team and you guys have been around, but what, what does he mean to your team? Okay. Um, he definitely brings laughter to the locker room. I would say if he's not number one funniest guy on the team, he's number two. Um, but I definitely, I'd probably put him number one. Um, I don't know. I enjoy him. He's been a great attitude to the team. He can shoot. He can play basketball, and he's cool in the locker room. So he's a great guy. Yeah, he just to add that he, um, I think mean, a lot of times when you come in as a transfer, um, you know, you kind of press, I think, to, like, fit in both in the locker room and on the floor. Because, you, you know, when you go to a new place, you want to have a lot of success. And I give him so much credit for just kind of letting things happen naturally and just being a good person. I think above all, you know, when you have good people in your locker room, it's always going to help. And when you add a guy like that who's a great person who's been around and it's experienced a lot of stuff, 
it helps us out a lot. Um, and I think he's he's off, he's awesome at the end of the shot clock. He's saved us a bunch <laughs> this year doing that. Um, so it's always good to have a guy like that. He's a bucket. Sure. Uh, Ethan, uh, the last few games you're starting to see more full court presses, mm -hmm. and I felt like today you and Brandon Newman. We're more deliberate taking it on your own when you had the opening. Is that something you guys have been talking about and seeing in the film room? Yeah, uh, I think especially after last game, you know, I was pretty disappointed with myself just being passive as far as um, helping Brady break the pressure. You know, that's a, that's a lot of it's, a, it's taxing on your body doing that for 40 minutes. You know, especially with those guys at Maryland were counting was pretty good. Um, so just trying to relieve some of that pressure for him. Um, he obviously made some good plays out of it, made some not so good plays out of it. But I think just being aggressive, you know, I fixed a lot of things for us. Um, just across the board, not just me, everybody was aggressive with it. It kind of make, makes you respect everyone across the board. Um, and especially, you know, like them, that's not something they traditionally do. Um, so kind of making them, you know, work for it and giving them different looks, I think was big for us because they kind of they kind of showed us at the start of the game like they weren't going to let Brain get the ball. So, you know, it was kind of like either do that or, you know, go sit on the bench. So, With two more, Sam, and then we'll go ahead. Zach, so like you said several times it's not just you. Today, nine guys with four or more points, great balance behind you uh, offensively, and then obviously with Braden on the, the bench for most of the first half, David with his defense um, gave you guys a lift. Is this more kind of what you see in practices? We've got 13 guys that can go in the game and we feel comfortable with they can get the job done. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we just got a lot of guys. Um, you know, people look at them because they're probably crazy now because I mean, they're not like great offensive players. Um, obviously, they help me out a lot um, on offense, you know, with their spacing. Everyone on our team can really shoot. Um, so it helps me, give me a lot of room. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's never was just me on this team. Um, we got a lot of really guys, a lot of guys that can really, really play. And a lot of guys, everyone's wearing a Purdue uniform for a reason. We're a top team in the country. I'm not a top team in the country, but we are. So it's just like, I think, uh, you don't give them the credit that they deserve. Last one here. Mason, you, uh, Purdue had lost three of the last four, obviously hit a rough spot, but you come back big today. What makes you think that maybe you turn things around as you get ready for the Indiana game? Um, a win always helps. I mean, it makes everybody's mood better, and so we can build on this. I don't think we've necessarily completely turned. You know, we still have a lot of work to do. Uh, we have Monday off, and then Tuesday we'll put some work in. Um, and we got we got games to win left. So this win isn't everything. We got a couple more to reach one of our goals, our first goal of the season. And so, um, yeah, and we're, we're we're in a good spot right now. So thank you guys. Thank you.